Alright, hello and good evening everyone! Welcome back to 999. No time to lose, we have to do this tonight. I swear I'm not gonna leave until this is done and I have no idea how long we we'll still have to go, but holy crap. The incinerator will stop? Yeah, well we can hope, right? Let me see, let me take a look. There's still one, two, three, four at least and we're in a novel section. Hey Hexe, how's it going? So, yeah, let's go. Right, the puzzle, the incinerator puzzle. I'm so ready. I have my gin and tonic. I, mm, let me see. Whoa, that's a lot of gin. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's good. <laughs> you know, I don't really have one of those nice little uh, cups to measure. Like the number of shots or like ounces, or whatever you, uh, you used to measure alcohol and do cocktails. Hey, you kiss. So I use a glass that is supposed to be a shot glass, but I think it's much, much taller and wider than a normal shot glass. Because two of those little shot glasses can fill a full water glass, right? Like a classic dinner glass. So, I think one full glass of gin was, like, I don't know, two or three shots. <laughs> so this is a bit heavy, but that's okay. I probably need it for this game. Alright, puzzle. How do you work? Oh man, that goddamn voice again. Incineration will begin in 13 minutes. This fine. Shit. 13 minutes. Can we really do this? My heart feels like it's gonna pop. A kind of vision. My heart was pounding like it was about to explode. I stared at the puzzle on the screen. I was sure I had to solve it. Somehow, but... I had no idea how. My connection to Jumpy had been gone for a while. His mind was gone. I couldn't get any more information from him. Wait, she was using information from the future as well? It was not just one-way communication? I felt a second ticks by as I star stared at the screen. This is a cross-time puzzle, probably. Completely lost. My cheeks felt hot as tears powered over them. Poured. Then I heard a voice. Hey, what are you doing? It was muffled. I turned around. Just against the window in the entry door was a face. A frightening evil face. It was Hongo. How long he had been watching me? Ah, oh, don't know what to do. He was yelling, but his voice was still muffled. It's simple, really. But I suppose I might as well tell you. Just solve the puzzle on that machine. <laughs> He's crazy. Like, he went full on crazy at some point. His laughter was muffled by the door, but it still tore in my heart like the claws of a vicious monster. Good tip. <laughs> yeah. I bit my lip and glared at the Hongo, struggling to hold back hot tears. You're a terrible person! I hate you! I mean, she was like... eight? Nine? Oh my! How could you call a gentleman such as myself a terrible person? That's not very nice. I'm quite fair. I don't use tricks or play dirty. You see? I've even left you a way out. <gasps> a way out? Didn't you hear me? All you have to do is solve that puzzle. Do that, and you can stop the incinerator. What's the point of stopping it? You'll only capture me and make me do this all again. That is actually a good point. I'm not going to listen to you. If you're just going to throw me back in here, I might as well just die now! My goodness, haven't you listened to anything I've said? I told you, I'm a fair man! Huh? If you solve the puzzle, the verification function of the red will in turn activate. If this experiment is to deliver valid results, there must be a chance of success. If you succeed, you will escape! The verification function of the red? Then I remembered. Before Hongo left the room, he had scanned two bracelets into the red. Ah, so you do remember. Right now there are two numbers in the red. 
The first is one, and the second is three. Okay. Say, Akane, what's your number? She was five, though, wasn't she? I looked down in my left hand. The face on my breast, I showed a five. One plus three plus five. It's nine. I ran to the door with a nine on it. I grabbed the red and put my hand against the scanner panel. So the bracelet is deactivated in this You really room. aren't one for listening, are you? I hear Hongo's muffled voice is voiced from across the room. I've already told you, didn't I? Once you solve the puzzle, the verification function of the red will activate. In other words, if you haven't solved the puzzle, you can't enter your number. Why? Why are you doing this? <laughs> you could never understand. You don't know what it's like to spend every day surrounded by monkeys. Huh? What? Now start the experiment. Solve the puzzle. I can't! I don't know how! Of course you don't! Isn't that the point? You understand, don't you? Does he walk at the zoo? Access the morphogenetic field and find the solution! I can't! Then you'll die. You'll burn alive. <laughs> be quite hot in there in a few minutes i imagine it will be very painful <laughs> oh my god look at this <laughs> this guy his horrible laugh echoed across the room and even his face disappeared from the window i could hear it incineration 10 minutes right come on can we do this already switch back to jumpy vision I was crying, great gulping sobs broken by hiccups that shook my body. I was terrified. I could feel my fear pressing down on me like a tremendous weight. Somehow I forced my shaking legs, sorry, I thought I said myself, my shaking legs to carry me back to the device. I stared at the monitor. I can't, I just can't, there's no, there's no way, I can't figure this out. What was I going to do? I didn't know, I didn't know. I didn't even know where to start. Fear scattered my thoughts, and all I could think of was how I was going to die. My palms were sweating, and my blood was boiling in my veins. It was hot. So hot, I couldn't breathe. I felt dizzy. My heart roared in my chest, as if it would pound itself to pieces. I reached into my pocket. I wrapped my hand around the thing I'd come back to get. The doll Jumpy had given me. At least I had that. I held it tight with both hands and prayed. Help me! Jumpy! Jumpy! Help me! Help me! Help me! Jumpy! 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 Jesus! Please. Okay, we get it. Help me! Goodness me, shut up already. Jump Akane? Ah, oh, Jumpy Vision. All right. Akane? Who the hell is Akane? Shut up! Just shut the hell up! <laughs> Seven and Lotus don't understand. I think Clover and Snake have an idea, though. Clover's looking at me. And I think Snake may have figured it out. No, it doesn't matter. They're in my way. We should go. Maybe over here. Akane! Akane! Can you hear me? Akane! Say something! Fuck. Did something break our connection? I swear I just heard her. Shit. Akane! Answer me! Akane! Jumpy? I spun around. I heard the voice. His voice. I looked around. He wasn't in the room, of course. But I'd hear it so clearly. Like he was right there. Jumpy! I screamed as loud as I could. Akane! Oh my god, Jumpy! this blinking in and out is gonna kill me. That's her. She's there. Oh, for God's sake. Then that means... Ah, oh, stop Akane. doing it! Akane! Are you in the incinerator right now? Yes, I am! How? How did you know? I'm in the same room. I couldn't believe that he knew that. We're going to shout names for the next 10 minutes, probably. 
Now I understand what Santa meant. Right. There's only one way to help her. You were brought here to help my sister. To save Akane. I think I get it now. Incineration will begin in... Exit. <laughs> Kure! Ikus! Seven minutes. Chubby, we don't have time! <laughs> if you stop shouting each other's name, maybe you're gonna have more time. As quickly as I could, I told him that I had to solve the puzzle in order to stop the incinerator. <laughs> Great! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> and I do. I get everything now. Do you? Can, I, can we also get it? At last, I finally understand what all of this means. I know why the Nonary game was held today. I know why we were kidnapped and brought here. It was all for this moment. All of this was planned out to lead... To lead to this one moment. Oh my god. This is... This is insane. I can't believe it, but there's only one possible answer. June is... Zero is... Akane Kuroshiki. She recreated the history of the future that she had a glimpse of nine years ago. She tried to save herself that way nine years ago. <gasps> Whoa, do you think we're gonna ch actually change the past? No, she's trying to save herself right now. Is that why she keeps disappearing? It's because like the timeline... I don't know. I don't know. That means that there's only one thing for me to do. Yeah, drink more gin. Even if this is all some sort of insane plan, I will save her. I will save Akane Kuroshiki. I must save her, no matter what. If you actually go to the machine and do the puzzle, maybe we can save her. Incineration will begin in... Six minutes. The voice reminded me how much I how much time I had left. Chubby! Yeah, I know. Just hang on, alright? I promise I'll get you out of there. I'm not gonna let you die. I promise. So don't worry, alright? Just give me a few minutes, okay? <laughs> we don't have a few minutes. <laughs> okay. My voice shook as I answered. I was hot in the room. Sorry, it was hot. <laughs> I was hot. It felt like my heart was on fire. Oh, my brain is on fire right now. Six minutes or not, my heart burned with my feelings for him. Alright, time to get to work, Junpei. Is Snake talking to them about something? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Get out of my way. Hey, what are you- Just trust me, okay? Sorry, Lotus. I didn't mean to snap, but there's a lot more at stake here than you pride. I'll apologize later, alright? Now, let's have a look at this thing. We got numbers all over the grid. I think the panels are out of order. So I just need to switch these out. Staring at... Staring at it isn't going to accomplish anything. I'll just have to try it. Ah, just think of what I did all those times before. I'm gonna do this on my own, with my own mind. I'm gonna solve this problem. Why is this in brackets? Seek our way out! Oh my god. The uh, what? Oh, I see. Is that it? <laughs> Is that really it? Please enter password. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can't fucking believe this is gonna be it. Oh no, wait, the password is not password. Um, okay. Oh shit. What's the password then? Password? I'm inputting a password now, then. Are there any hints? What the hell am I supposed to put here? Uh, 
Just nine. Yes, that's it. I got an achievement for that. Akane, did you get it? Yes, I did. I solved it. I mean, really, you solved it for me, but I copied everything you did. Now I just have to press enter. Then do it. <laughs> Stupid kid. And what the hell are you waiting exactly. for? Exactly. Push it. Okay, I will. Then, oh my god, this game is... Ah. Oh. I hate the enter key. <laughs> Emergency shutdown command has been confirmed. Incineration system has been disabled. Kind of wish I'd give it the wrong one, you know? Jumpy! It doesn't work! Nine years ago, turns out they had a different password. <gasps> Jumpy! Tears rolled down my face as I cried out to him, but they were a very different sort of tears. A wonderful feeling of accomplishment and relief flooded my body. At the same time, the strength I had left disappeared and I collapsed to the floor. For a while I just lay there, laughing and crying and enjoying being alive. Every time I thought about him, I thought my heart would burst. Whew. Same incinerator, but that they um, the, the incinerator is off now that she pressed enter. So I can't quite believe I did that, but I'm so glad, so glad. I I feel like my heart's on fire. It's still an incinerator. You know? Wait, no, I don't have time to be thinking about that kind of shit. I need to tell Akane. Akane! Sorry, but things are kind of busy over here. I'm gonna have to hang up now, okay? To hang up? It's a phone for you? Oh my fucking god. Oh, of course! That's fine! <laughs> sure. <laughs> I wiped the tears from my eyes and nodded vigorously, even though I knew he couldn't see me. Then I looked over at the corner of the floor. There were two bracelets Hongo had left behind. Now. Well, Seven and Lotus don't look particularly happy with me. Not a very nice look to give someone who just saved your life, guys. Junpei, are you... Okay? Ah, shut it. Right, okay, so maybe they have a reason to be pissed off. They did not sound pissed off, actually. So what if I haven't even pressed the enter key yet? Alright, nothing holding me back now. What do you mean you haven't pressed the enter key? What have you been doing all this time, you idiot? Wait. Incineration will begin in 90 seconds. Oh my god, I cannot believe this. He just wasted like three minutes without pressing the enter key? Are you insane? <coughs> it doesn't sound like it's stopping. <sighs> what the shit? Why isn't it stopping? Okay, maybe I didn't hit the key hard enough. Just hit it again. And again. And again. Okay, that's not working either. The alarm's going off. What the hell is going on? I've got all the right numbers in the right boxes. It's perfect. So why the fuck is it stopping? Incineration will begin in 60 seconds. Oh boy. Wait, of course. That's what the numbers that showed up after the puzzle mean. 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 1 plus 8. Was that seven? Seven. Snake Clover. No, Santa's not here. All right. Snake Clover, me, seven, and Lotus. So no Santa. Then, door nine. No, that's it. The number on the door isn't a nine. It's not even a number. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that. Holy shit, of course. Then we just have to put the right number into the red and... Incineration will begin in 30 seconds. Run, guys! Get to the door! Run! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Don't have much time. Man, I sure hope they can just trust me on this one or we are all fucked. 
All right, no time to explain. Just go. Quick, verify your numbers on the red. Verify? Who? What combination? All of us. We all need to verify. Why? You really think this is a good time to ask questions? Just do it. Hurry, 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 hurry. Incineration will begin in 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Central gate has been opened. Incineration system has been disabled. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why, she asks. Well, thank fucking Christ. No, no time to be happy. Time to go. Hurry! We've only got nine seconds before the door closes. Go, go, go! What happened to Santa? The roll through. Movie jump, eh? Just in time. Santa ran away with Hongo and the gun. Oh, that's tr oh, that's right. They but not from this side of the door, right? Went on the other side, I think. And there goes the door. No, don't come down yet. You're not done. We still gotta find the dead. Oh, it was right there. Alright, round of panting, everyone. Shit. Huh. Looks like we made it, huh? <laughs> I actually imagine he has this face while laughing. Man, the guy sure can laugh when he wants to. Looks like Clover and Lotus are totally out of energy. Snake is shaking his head wearily. I just want to take a nap, but... Akane? Akane! Can you hear me? Akane! I want to tell her we made it. I want to tell her how good I feel. But nothing. Carnivision? Yep. <laughs> God damn it. So it's not a specific number, it's just whoever is in the room, every bracelet around it need to be verified. The door opened. Standing in front of it was my brother. Akane! Oi! Wait, we actually changed the past. I cried his name, even though my voice was almost gone from screaming and leapt into his arm. I buried my face in his chest and cried again. I cried and cried and cried. The steady thump of his heart in my ear made me feel like I was home. Its beat was almost like a lullaby. I wrapped my arms around him as far as they would go and held him as tight as I could. That's why Seven's head was hurting so bad. His memory was starting to change. Yeah, probably. I wonder if um, Snake and Santa went through the same thing. Just to be there felt like a miracle. I hadn't felt the warmth of another human body in what it seemed like an attack. So this game is a time paradox. Akane was always there because we in the future managed to save her. And she became zero and made the nonary game so, she, so we could save her in the past. I just want to stay there in his arms forever. Ever watched Dark on Netflix? I am still. I still have to watch the um, the, the f couple of episodes from the first season, and then watch the second. I'm watching a bunch of other things right now. Bootstrap paradox. But I couldn't. The moment it passed through the door, my bracelet had begun the countdown to death. I left away from him and looked around. They were already closed. I spotted the dead only a short distance away. It took me only a moment to get to and scan all the bracelets. I left it once Hongo dropped on the scanner panel. That was it. Ah. 
I took a deep breath and looked around again. The huge detective would we call 79 years and Snake, the blind boy, were looking at me. They seemed to have been utterly stunned by my sudden appearance. The eyes were wide and their mouths hung open. Alright, let's get out of here. If we don't book it, we might run into Hongo again. Sorry, where are we? Okay. Let's get in there, guys. I swear to God, if we finish the game in like half an hour, I'm gonna be mad. The mention of Hongo seemed to jar Seven and Snake out of their surprise, and they nodded. The blind boy looking at me. <laughs> don't, don't question it. We took off running up the spiraling stairs to freedom. Time for more running. But if they can get us out of here, no wonder we're running so hard. My heart's beating so hard I can barely hear. God, I can't wait to breathe real air again. Huh? Is Seven talking? Hey, Junpei, can I ask you something? How did you do this? <laughs> What's up? That door, the one with the nine on it. Why did it open? Yeah, all five of us verified our numbers on the red. Two plus four plus five plus seven plus eight is 26. That makes our digital root eight. It shouldn't have opened. <laughs> That's not like you, Lotus. I thought you would have figured it out already. Huh? Why? Because you were the person who taught me about the idea of bases. Bases? What? Yeah. What are the two numbers in base two? Zero and one. How about base ten? That goes from zero to nine, right? Then how about base sixteen? Zero through F. After nine, it starts at A and goes from there. B, C, D, etc. You're right. In other words, A in base 16 is 10 in base 10. Okay. B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, and so on. Right. So, what about it? You don't get it? What if we keep going with that pattern? What if you go way past base 16 all the way to base 27? Base 27? Yeah. Well, the numerical digits are the same. So, I guess you'd add alphabetical digits. E is 14, F is 15, G is 16. H is 17, I is Are we gonna do all of them? Because I'm gonna freak out. K is oh my 20. God. N is 23, O is 23. They're actually doing it. <laughs> e is 20. Yeah, and? What comes after that? Uh, hmm. Uh, oh. Q. Oh my God, I cannot believe that was not a nine, it was a fucking Q. There's no way it was that dumb. 26! And what does that mean? That wasn't a 9 on the door. It was a Q! A fucking lowercase Q! But why? Yep, that's pretty much it. I guess to put it another way, you could say that it was a 9 in base 10, but a Q in base 27. But why? It's a Q. Is it because the, the, the team on the ship was called Team Q? Time for more running. God, my thighs are killing me. How tall is this boat? I swear any moment now I'm gonna tear a muscle. I feel like every single cell of my body is dying for air. The every breath I take is a chore now. I feel like my lungs are gonna burst. Maybe just a short rest. No, can't stop. Don't have time. Come on, legs. There can't be many more of these steps left. Let's run. Run, like a bullet down a rifle barrel. Like a tornado cutting through a sea of clouds. I feel like we're running along the back of a giant cold dragon. Jesus, already! Finally! Oh, thank God! <laughs> Another round of panting. Come on, get it out, everyone! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my God! Jesus, I can barely breathe. Yeah, me too. No, Junpei, no time to rest. Put this up together, you're almost there. Alright, I'm gonna open it. Yeah. Yes, we're finally here! Please do! Sure you look like a big heavy door. You're the only thing standing between me and my freedom. But even more important than that, you're the only thing that's standing between me and Akane. You're gonna open and you're gonna open now. Oh, blinding light. Akane vision, oh come on. I felt a hand on my shoulder. It was Aoi's. He gave it a small, reassuring squeeze. 
I was so happy I felt like I could melt. My heart was at peace. And not only because my brother and I were back together again. Thanks to the huge detective. All nine of us who had been kidnapped. We're finally able to escape from the gigantic... Wait. The gigantic sank? What? Wait, what? What ship are we on then? They're in building Q, not the ship. Oh. Is that why there was a Q on the door? Question mark. On the distant horizon, we can see the faint outline of the ship as it sank. It gave a thunderous roar as it finally slipped beneath the waves. His last cry echoed out across the ocean, and then he was gone. It's over. Oh, he whispered. Yeah. It was over. It was finally over. Or was it? Was it really? No. That was wrong. That wasn't it all. It at all. I was sure of it. This wasn't the end. It was only the beginning. This was only a prologue. To what would happen in nine years. So are we like in Nevada? Yes, finally! Air! Gah! Damn, the sun is bright. I can barely see anything. Huh, I gotta admit, this doesn't look quite like... Wait. No way! You gotta be shitting me. What? It can't be. This is... Yeah, we're in the desert. Jun literally disappeared the last standing. Yeah. This is the building in the Nevada it's desert. It's because she kept getting sick when they made the wrong choices. Yeah, we couldn't fulfill the um, the time paradox, so she just disappeared. She stopped existing because she actually died in the past, and then she disappeared. The mock experiment building. Oh my god. This whole time we were in building Q. Wait, how do we get out of here? Sure enough, that's a desert out there, with mountains all around it. Hello there, son. Boy, am I ever glad to see you. Well, you're not gonna be in a few moments. I don't think I have ever been so happy to see a sunrise. Huh? Did I just hear something fall? Right, a bracelet. I guess I never really got a good look at the underside of one of these. So, do we not really have bombs inside of us? Are the bombs just for the... to, to kill um, the bad ones? You know, the guys from... Uh, from the original trial. Let's see what's inside you. Just a little electronic chip. Like in an ATM card. That's it. There's nothing else. Nothing that even looks like a detonator. There was never a detonator to begin with. You can leave for his with a bomb inside you. It doesn't impact life quality at all. <laughs> True. Akane. I mean... Unless a random radio frequency set it off and you explode in the middle of Jackie. nowhere. Huh. Guess I must be pretty crazy about the girl if I think I'm hearing her voice in the wind. So that you're going to be a blast at New Year's Eve party? Yeah. Wait. Wait, 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 what? Have we done the last two or three already? What? What happened to Santa and Hongo? Well, the music is going insane. 
Wait, wait, wait. Maybe there's still a post credit scene, right? I mean, there's gotta be. I have so many questions still. I, I, I can't. I need answers. I mean, to be fair, guys, there's two other games after this one. It's a trilogy. So, I don't think everything is going to be answered here. I think. I don't know. Are they the same characters? I don't think so, but I don't know. Maybe there's some reoccurring characters at some point. I have no idea. I definitely saw a different character in... Um in a loading screen for this because the first two games are actually in a single application which is called the nonary game and then the third one is on the side because the first game was on the nintendo ds and it was ported on pc but it was merged with the second one are you okay oh come on uh, this is nothing really yeah you don't look okay. It was just before the end of elementary school. Jumpy and I were sitting next to each other on a small hill, looking out of the town as the sun slowly set. How does it look then? Sorry, I just wanna... So yeah, there's still two, okay? Epilogue and then something else, so... It was half serious and half joking. I thought about it for a minute first. What the hell happened to him? Let's see. It looks like you kissed a toad and got warts, but then they just kept growing and growing and growing. That is not what it looks like. It looks like he's been hit by a bus. <laughs> what does that even mean? Jupiter grinned and... Oh, ow, 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 ow. See? I told you, you're not okay. You're too reckless. He punched someone, look. He's got the... the hands are all purple and red. You can't beat five eighth graders, Jumpy. Okay. That's crazy. Well, apparently... <laughs> he got in a bit of a brawl. Yeah, but oh. I couldn't just stand there. I mean, don't you think so? I had to do something. Oh wow, I'm out of gin. Look at the Nevada Desert Girl Pass. Wait, where have they... F what? Where did the car come from? For an SUV, this thing is a pretty smooth ride. Sure was nice of someone to leave it for us outside the building. Keys in the ignition and gas in the tank. I guess uh, Zero left the car for them. Almost like it was a present, you know? Anyway, we jumped in and now here we are. Screaming across the desert. What kind of person asks how they found a car when they are in the desert? Sorry, my bad. It's like you know nothing about the deserts. No, I don't. I've never been to a desert. I, d I didn't know that like cars grew in there. Lotus is over there in the passenger seat. Snake and Seven and I are all squeezed into the back seat here. I still can't believe we let her drive. This is so fun! This is so awesome! Driving is so great when there's nothing around, and there's no speed limit! I mean, you can still roll over and die, so... Hey, uh, Clover, watch those bumps, alright? Yeah, right? exactly. This car jumps even a little, and I think I'm gonna get crushed to death. Hey, shut it! I can't help if I'm big, alright? Suck it up! Why don't you drive, Seven? I'm a cop, I ain't gonna break the law. I'll watch her bumps. Oh, great. She's on the rage. Come on. <laughs> he doesn't have an international license. Yeah, but you could have sat in the passenger seat. How am I supposed to know that? Because she was what? Nine? Well, actually, no. She's 18. She's 18. No, 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 we do know. Uh, they said that 
she was nine at the time. Because Snake made the four leaf clovers and he made nine of them because it was her ninth birthday. And it's now nine years later, so she's 18. Oh, hell no. There's no way I'm giving this seat up. <clears throat> and Clover, there's no need to slow down. The car Santa and June are in should be somewhere down this road ahead of us. Yeah, I saw some fresh tire tracks going out. There's no doubt about it. Then we've got to hurry if we want to catch them, don't we? Sure thing! Oh, shit! God damn it, she doesn't even have to drive so fast. Man, I didn't even think a car like this could go this fast. We should throwing up a lot of dust. Who cares, we're alone in the desert. It was a couple of hours after we'd run into the junior high students. They'd been hiding in the bushes on the back of one of the hills, drenching a kitten in gasoline. The moment we saw what they were doing, Jumpy ran up to them, furious. Oh, so those are the guys that killed the bunnies from... Uh, for the mechanics and Junpei's past. And they found out, so he went to fight them, I guess. My explanation was better, okay? Oh, is it Canavision if she sees herself from behind? Hey! hey what the, what hell, the hell are you, are you doing? doing? I don't know. Is a memory? Then he jumped on them. He quickly scooped up the kitten and tossed it to me. I called it and ran for the police station as fast as I could. Help me! Officer! Please! You have to come with me! The policeman and I headed back to the hill. All we found was Jumpy sprawled in the ground with a face covered in big swelling lumps. You couldn't run away after you threw the kitty to me? He stuck his tongue out through the hole in his mouth where a tooth had fallen out. Yeah, I, I guess I could've... Uh, then why didn't you? I didn't want to. I wanted to beat him up. Beat him up real good. Because of what they were doing to the kitty. Yeah, that too, but... I think they were the ones behind those murders our first semester. Remember? Oh, you mean the bunnies. Oh, we don't talk about the bunnies. Come on, Junpei. Yeah, the bunnies. He plucked some grass from the ground and tossed it into the wind. They asked me what elementary school I was from, so I told them. And then they said they'd do the same thing to you that they did to the rabbits. <gasps> Damn! I couldn't forgive them for that, so I... Oh, eighth graders are killers, holy crap. <laughs> Fucking psychopaths. Hey, uh, there's <laughs> they, still some stuff I don't They need get. help. <laughs> Is this a roving group of some guy? Yeah, exactly. Because they probably don't know any more than I do. Like Ace. Well, I guess I should say Gintaro Hongo. Why did he create the Nonary Project? Anybody? Any ideas? <laughs> Why don't you ask him yourself? Well, yeah, I guess I could. He's still in the trunk, I assume? Yeah, he is. Wait, what? Still tied up, I'm assuming, with his mouth taped shut. His eyes just looked empty. No emotion. It looks like he's just given up. I wonder if he even cares what happens to him anymore. Hey, were you listening to us? Yeah, go ahead and try to pretend you weren't, you old bastard. Let's get that tape off your mouth. Come on, I know you were. Answer me. You can at least look at me when you talk, man. I... I only wanted to see the faces. Human faces. I thought... I thought... If I could gain the ability to access the morphic field set, then perhaps I could see faces. <laughs> By peering into people's minds, you could understand how they were processing the expressions of others. That's it? Yes. If you want to put it simply, but if you are looking for a more philosophical answer, I could supply that as well. Oh, here we go, guys. We're gonna get the philosophical answer as well. You see, the human collective consciousness... I think that's enough of you, pal. Oh, okay, never mind then. Time for the tape to go back on. All right, so what's your second question? You said there were some things you didn't get, didn't you? Well, some of these are a little nosy. Well, my next question doesn't really have anything to do with you two. This is for you, Seven. It's about the whole Alice thing. 
What's the deal with that? Yeah, what's the deal with that? Well, you see, nine years ago, after I escaped from the Gigantic, I kept going after Hongo on my own, hoping I'd catch him when he finally slipped up. And during the course of my investigations, I learned a lot more about the Gigantic. I also found out about Gordain and Alice. You're not really answering my question. Was there actually a girl who wouldn't melt at room temperature? What do you think, Jubei? <laughs> Sounds like Hongo has something to say. All right, fine, I'll let you talk, but you gotta behave. What? Pepper Dance, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Alice doesn't exist. Of course she doesn't, you idiots. Nine years ago, I found Alice's coffin behind the library on the bottom deck. There was nothing in it, but the root of a peculiar plant. My research determined that it was a member of the genus Mandragora, yeah. of the family Solanaceae. I was able to extract a particular alkaloid from it. I used that extract to create oh, soap. Oh, he made soap a real. Its creation was a tremendous boon to my firm, and we grew rapidly. Why, why, why was a random plant in a coffin? Shit, this is gonna go forever. Tape's going back on, Hongo. The rest of my questions can wait a bit. For now, I think I'll just enjoy the ride. Oh my god, can, Here, can we stop uh, with the kids? This is for you. What's this? This is a for you doll. Uh, his name is Junpei. A for you doll? Jumpy pulled something out of his pocket. Wait, hang on, Jumpy. And shoved out his arm toward me. In his hand was a doll made of yarn, small enough to fit in his palm. Jumpy, are you sure it's a uh, for you doll? The hell is a for you doll? Huh? Uh, yeah, the, the lady at the shop said so, so th that means it's for you, right? Are you sure it's not for her doll? For, for, for him? Are you sure it's not a voodoo doll? The fuck, Akane? Wait, what? That that's oh man. Oh man. <laughs> well, it sure looks like a voodoo doll. I mean, you do know what a voodoo doll is used for, right? Yeah, I, I guess calling it Junpei isn't a very good idea then. Why are you giving me this anyway? It just seems really sudden. Uh, well, um, you, you know how after June, um, we aren't gonna get to see each other too much? I mean, we're gonna be in different schools, and I just thought I'd, uh, you know, um... Give us something to remember him. Oh, okay, well, how about we call it June, then? Okay. Ah, so, that explains uh, I to the give June. This. Okay, I get it. <laughs> You sound like some sort of tribal chief in a bad movie. <laughs> uh, yes. I, head of tribe. This doll, traditional charm of tribe. <laughs> so I give this. You know, I'm gonna excuse them. They're kids. It's fine. It me. Kids are dumb anyway. So we always... together. Oh, Jumpy. If something bad, then hold and pray. I go wherever you are. So here, take. I reached my hand out and picked up the doll gently. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jumpy. Before I knew it, I was crying. Tears streamed down my face and fell onto June's tiny yarn body. So, I like how it's Junpei's fault that all of this happened. Because if he didn't give her the doll, she would never have lost it in the freaking nonary game. She would have escaped. And none of this would happen. Jumpy, I'll never forget you. I promise. You and your stupid doll, Jumpy. Jumpy looked straight into my eyes and said just five words. I'll never forget you either. The sky was a beautiful crimson red as it melted down towards the horizon. The last golden rays of sunlight stretched out across the city and painted themselves across the hills. We sat, bathed in the warm light of evening. Just the two of us, leaning gently against one another, shoulder to shoulder. What kind of damn best goes back for a shitty doll in this situation? Well, it's a kid. Kids are stupid. Eh? I, I don't know. I can see that happening. 
I've seen worse in movies. The sun set, and we still didn't leave. We watched in silence as the darkness de deepened, and one by one, the lights of the town began to flicker on. Have you seen that freaking movie about everybody trying to stay silent? What was it called again? Like, literally in the beginning of the movie, the freaking kids put battery in a... A quiet place? Yes. The stupid kid puts batteries in a rocket and starts making a bunch of noises. Fuck me. To be honest, it's the biggest mystery as far as I'm concerned, and also the only one that's really important. It has to do with June and Akane. Nine years ago, she died in the incinerator on the Gigantic. But she's still alive now, was June. But how? Well, she didn't die, of course. Was it because I tapped into the Morphic Field set and saved her nine years ago? Hmm. Alright. Let's say that makes more some kind of insane sense. If I did that, then... How do I make sense of what Seven remembers? Snake makes sense. He's blind. I couldn't have seen her body anyway. But Seven? He said he was sure he saw it. Does that mean there's some kind of historical discrepancy? Or wait, maybe that's not it at all. There is one other logical explanation. Was what you told me the truth, Seven? You look satisfied. No. No way. He couldn't. Hey look! Over there! There's somebody next to the road! Huh? What? Hmm? What? Is that June? What the hell? Is that all ice? You what? <laughs> Great with the insta dibs, holy crap. That was the fastest dibs I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god. The burning gaze of the Nevada sun pounded down on her head. The desert around her rippled with heart. Heat, sorry. Standing there on the shimmering plain was a woman, her arm out and a thumb up. It would not be long before Junpei realized who she was. The first adeptus of the Wild West. I mean, we are in a desert. End? No end! What? You cannot end it here. I am going to... I got the achievement. Don't forget your towel. Wait. Oh my god, we got all the endings. There we go. The hell? End. That's it, guys. Oh, wait. Is this... A loud noise startled Junpei awake, and his eyes snapped open. What? What the...? As they adjusted to the light, he realized that he didn't recognize the surroundings. Wait, what? Oh. No, I'm just watching the beginning. The hell? I don't want to watch the beginning again. Wait, how do we... Get out. Wait. Is that it? Damn, no. Uh. Is that really it? They're not gonna explain New Game Plus. <laughs> That's not New Game Plus. Where am I? Alter 4. <laughs> Uninstall. Well. 
Wait, it... it it's still the second game. Can I just leave? What's that sound? I want to leave. Can I leave? <laughs> yeah, the game is like... <laughs> it's definitely weird. It was a complete nightmare and had some cool ideas. Yeah, I, it's... Okay, I think aside from the fact that it was filled with issues, I think it was entertaining as hell, and I'm actually really happy we played it. And I actually want to play the other two, because I'm not expecting good games, but I'm expecting some crazy nonsense bullshit, and I'm going to have fun playing them. What are these things? What's the preview? Wait, what? Oh, this was the, um... This is the intro, right? Now it is time. Let the game begin. Yeah, this is the intro cinematic. What about this one, though? Unfortunately, that's the wrong answer. Actually, I'm Santa. Wait, what? The fuck? Are you just gonna give up like that? What is happening? Now it's time. Are there more? No. Is there anything else? Alright. Let me see. I, I just Before we end it, I just want to see. I want to check the internet. I think that's it, though. But the fact that I have to check the internet to realize if the game is done. I mean, I don't know. Freaking 999. <laughs> <True> ending. <laughs> um, let's see. Submarine ending. Axe coffin. True ending. Yes, that's it. Hitchhiker on the road is actually Alice. Clover stops the car to let her in. Syringe ending. Oh, there's another ending on the iOS version of this game? What is this bullshit? Oh, oh, it's a bullshit ending, never mind. Oh, yeah, that's it, guys. I mean, we know that Akane is alive. Because um, they said she was in the car with Santa. But I have no idea why Santa is leaving everyone else behind. And why did they leave Ace behind as well? I don't know. It's a bit weird. That's what I don't get. Why did they leave Ace behind? I mean, Santa seems like he wanted to kill him. Uh, after leaving the roof of the building with Ace in the back of the car, Clover drives the gang away to freedom. Yeah, that's it. I guess maybe we're going to find out in the next game. Who knows? But man, what a ride. This is it for 999, guys. Holy crap, it only took like an hour. If I knew it, I would have finished it yesterday. Because I think we were pretty close, but yeah, whatever. Right, so I am going to quickly turn off and on the stream again, and then we're going to play something else, all right? What do you want to see, guys? Do you want me to continue with Guacamela 2, or should we play a little bit of um, Darker's Dungeon? Up to you guys. It's the same for me, really. I mean, Guacamela's gonna take definitely more than tonight to finish. Well, did you guess two good choices? I don't know. <laughs> This is 
are the games I have to finish right now. I did install a bunch of other games, so we're gonna talk about it and play it next week. Tomorrow is gonna be um, the Blair Witch. You say DD? Uh, it is kind of a filler. It kind of is, yes. It's a quiet. It's a, it's a nice game to pick up at random times. All right, let me switch it over then. I'll be right back. You like my thinking noise? Is there a thinking noise? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Was it a thinking noise? I don't know. Maybe. Anyway. Hold on a second. Let, oh, fuck, the chat is in the way now. I have to reset the chat. Hold on. I'll do it later. Let me restart the stream first. <laughs> 